Well, between buying presents and paying bills, the holidays can lead to a lot of spending and leave your wallet empty. And although it may feel like money is leaving your bank account as soon as it comes in, trust me, you are not alone. Now, according to Nerd Wallet's 2020 holiday shopping report, 55% of holiday shoppers in 2019 took on credit card debt. That might sound familiar, right? Well, if you're looking to get rid of holiday debt, increase your savings, or just simply manage your money better. And we have four ways this morning to help you get started. First up, starting with a budget. Now, it sounds simple, right? But for some, this actually may be the first time making one, so there's no shame in that. What you want to do is start off by deciding which expenses you absolutely must have, like groceries and gas. And then from there, you need to decide which ones you can cut, like going out to eat, drinking, or getting your hair done. I know that's tough, but sometimes you got to put it to the side. Now, there are even budgeting apps that can help. You can also check with your banking app to see if it already has a feature for making a budget. Also, what you want to do is set a reasonable time limit for cutting back on expenses. You can always start with a week and see how it goes or even consider frugal February. That's when some people schedule their time frame since it's the shortest month of the year. Now, next, what you want to do is you want to have some motivation, right? And figure out why you want to save. Keep that in mind. So what exactly you want to do is figure out what you're saving for. Is it a future vacation or maybe it's a new car? Budget experts say to attach a specific goal to your savings. That way it creates a strong connection and you have more motivation to carry on. And finally, what you want to do, you really want to get creative with how you're about to save this money because we know that it is very tough to do that. And so look for no cost resources to help pass the time. Now this could be anything from free audiobooks through your local library or even taking a walk in the park. Even try bringing your friends and family into it. So, for example, you can host a virtual dinner party on Zoom. That way everyone can save money by cooking what's in their kitchen while staying safe against the virus.